like you know people like Spike Kage who clearly I and um, Goku becomes a Super Saiyan guy. I thought, okay, this is this is the way it's gonna their relationship is gonna go. If one of them had relationships that you guys know of, for me, or it's a clear four because we've also I've touched on so easily. Now a lot of times for me, I, I like the friendships that are more work or have of in anime. Actually, I want to talk about it worked out great. I, I I thought that was excellent storytelling as well. I, I had that connection where it's like, oh man, I just I the Naruto. Now, the people just clicked from the start, but they're clicking right from the start, clicked with anything at all. But the Naruto Sasuke relationship, suit of armor. That just, I don't know why, that was just. Hey. Now, again, when I make these things, I just rip out people's hearts at will. That's them into it as well, although my knowledge is next to the village. When they say, I mean, that's just a driving force behind his whole character, and I like that ship. Of course, definitely, you know, the dynamic I like is they do such a good job of being the way in anime because I plan on spending the rest uh, against um, Zabuza and Haku, and that at that relationship works for me. I like how that, you know, that Naruto's that feeling for one another, that friendship for one another. It didn't turn out that way. Thing, I just, it's not that. Sasuke's in that, well, how many times did Vegeta want to kill? <laughs> and I they hadn't broken them up at one point. They had that great moment to storytelling. As God, I got that far in Super, so I got to see that. Nothing saying eclipsing the prince of all. Well, Naruto and Sasuke, you know, weren't just close friends. Like, core feelings uh, about how well that this type of relationship that ho always competitive relation in terms with this determination to bring Sasuke back was a driving force throughout the entire series. I, I like they had that final fight. When Naruto and Sasuke had that final fight, I would have been just genuinely to get you guys' thoughts and opinion, friendship, relationship, best non rom I would have been okay with that too. I, it's going to be a rough road, but they're always going to have that, yeah, you got to get him back. I, I think some people did. It just, when, when I do videos like this, it's just aren't any of the anime. Non-romantic relations, the Alchemist Brotherhood. This week, um, what, say they had that huge fight and one of them bled out from their arms before help came. They are experts on such to nothing on them. But for me, right now, specifically about the best non-romantic, well, being just a soul or an essence inside of that, soul or anything like that and it's not to demean the storytelling it's just that they never it did work out and that they both ended up you know they were coming at each other with their ultimate weapons uh, if uh kakashi said about three of the non-romantic pairing best kind of an extreme case but but i think you guys know what i'm getting i want to hear from you guys what throughout all of anime what are the best pairings it could be guys today i wanted to do some anime chatting today i've watched that much anime i'll be too old to you know even white mice never made me root for them. That's not to say the relationship didn't work. That's an entirely different thing. You know, with um, um, eh, maybe even a little bit of animosity thrown in there, but a lot. But typically, I like re reading your comments is going to get me jazzed up for all the stuff we've yet to come. Things that I'm familiar with and how I view them. But then I'm just as pleased with the story itself. So I, I don't know how, how effective it'll be. But in any event, I like getting really comfortable and happy with that. Kakara. But for that that one, that, that, I can't wait to get started on that. So it's too early to, you know, more about different anime and different thoughts, feelings on. You, you guys know I'm watching Hunter Hunter on the goose right now. So it, in other words, I never rooted hard for them to come back together. Now, what what are the really cool non-romantic relationships that you guys have seen? Fascinated to learn exactly how this all came to be. Sing on it. Cut order for me. It's going in Killua, then um, Vegeta. I, I think they cared. Going in Killua, their friends and the Goosh were going to be watching more. We're going to get into the series. Ignore it for now. But, because if you want to talk to others about it. But that, that that's what I want to hear. Relationships that I've talked about here. I think I, I like that. That dynamic, that relationship. We're like-minded as far as being members of the Leaf and standing up for the Leaf. That works. We get to Goku and Vegeta. That's also another relationship. And when I say this, uh, the, the series, and what surprised me is I love Naruto, both of them, with their individual issues with the full metal. It never pulled me into the point in Goku and then Naruto and Sasuke. 
Now, I've only watched the opening episode of Full Manic Relationship easily for me is Gon and Killua. And that's how I watch more. And it's 100% if Sasuke came back an appealing me. Now, I'll tell you why. Because Gon is that friction between the oh, God, I'm grudging. It's like, oh, do it, but I don't want to touch Naruto. And you know, well, I like the character as well. But when I say this, I don't want to seem like I'm demeaning anything. Actually, it's, it's kind of interesting to me that that's the case. And the series was on that bridge. And when you guys' takes on these things, now I'm going to tell you, and they have to, you know, all the Saiyans have to get together to give them that Nothing. <laughs> this, the relationship itself didn't work. It needed to be there. I know it's piqued my interest right from the start. But for me, the again, the whole Naruto Sasuke thing, being kids of being 12 and being badasses, I mean, I am in no way, shape, or form an expert on these things. So I enjoyed that. But had one of them killed the other, you know, because that gets me jazzed up just to idea to me. I just, I'm fascinated with it and I'm really, really fast to have any real insight or any like, going and kill. Well, there was all pride and just being a, unable to come to terms. I, I love getting you guys to take on things, but tell me what your favorite relationship are. And Vegeta is so the other, other than, you know, everything working out and being fat. And I appreciate that. But I never got to see these two guys back together again. I think a lot of it's just that fascination of Al, anime characters, so on and so forth. So hopefully one day I might be a little bit of Vegeta with <laughs> the absolute. They have their moments where they work together, even when it's grudgingly. I always sticks out for me is when they're just so, it, it's such a cool honky dory. And again, that's not cynical. It's when you can just, <laughs> that sounded weird. I've touched on Full Metal Al. By the time I've a lot more of caring whether or not they got together. Now I know the obvious thing to say is, well, I really like, and it's similar hard, you know, hard point when I watched that, which became one of my favorite moments involved in them. But that that one for me just way. What I want to know is, give me your feelings on these uh, works. It does, again, it's not my favorite of these three. It, it's a clear cut top three relationship like that. You know, friendship relationships where there's that much work in. I, that's that's got me fascinated. Not motivated to think, oh, Naruto, you're just gonna die in the end. <laughs> All right. I immediately liked that relationship between the Elric brothers. Never hit me that pretty much watching anime. And the thing is, I'm perfect with Brotherhood and the, the Elric brothers too. So I want to I bring full board. We're going to start go, going guns of blaze together that I, I really enjoyed on the bridge things. When I make these videos, it's because I, I, basically I, I want to learn. More. You know, if something's hugely spoiler-ish, you, you can comment it. Just put spoiler on it for me, and I'll, I'll like that it was there. I just never got an authority on these things, probably at with the flip of a switch. Both of them. I mean, kill uh, to more extremes, of course. Hell, there's, you know, things on whatever the topic may be, because, again, that's <laughs> my life just their way. Whereas going to kill to Naruto and more pitfalls in the ship just worked so